does Sargon own, own the trademark? And I went, oh, I'm going to buy the trademark. <laughs> and everyone's like, you're, no way, you're going to do it. I literally went live on Kumite. Uh, I went on speakerphone, and I called Chris and went, do it. And now I have the email. We are now in the running for owning the word liberalist. And then the thre- I, I, I smashed my foot up, took some pills, passed out, woke up to a bunch of people Fuck yeah. w- wanting to sue me on Reddit. Now, I don't know too much about this. Medicare, you were on Reddit. Oh, you were tweeting about this? If you right. want me to go over this. I mean, you're, you're leaving a little bit out. You're leaving a little bit out just to give a little bit of backstory. Because the moment, the fucking moment that you said, I'm going to go internationally <laughs> trademark the liberalist. I'm on the phone with my Asian, as you put it. Sargon ended his stream. And I can only imagine mentally him huffing and puffing as he runs down the street to a lawyer to say, don't let this fucking Canadian steal this from me. And then, so it's like there's a race going on between Canada and the UK for the dumbest title on earth to get the ownership of this stupid thing. But yeah, so you you trade you're you're in the process of trademarking it, right? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, Sargon and the Liberalist, uh, their their subreddits, and I've even seen comments from the Discord and I think the Facebook, are all saying the same thing. We're gonna sue Andy Worski. We're going to sue him for trademarking the term liberalist. We're going to take him to court and teach him. This is their wording. We're gonna teach him a lesson and bleed him dry, and fight for the the honor of the term liberalist. And they're they're all gung ho about this shit. Like they they really want to do it. One guy was like, "I'm a lawyer, and I'll I'll do this for you. I'll file a fr- uh, frivolous lawsuit uh, to bleed Andy dry, which is real smart, you know, posting that you're a lawyer who's going to file a malicious lawsuit. Really good idea. I'm sure that's not going to backfire anytime soon. But they want they want to take you to court. They want to teach you a lesson for uh, disrespecting the stepfather and trying to assume the role of the godfather." I I am the Godfather now. First of all, I own Sargon, so I, I want him to bend the knee. That was one of the things I want. I want him to bend the knee. I want him to kiss the top of my hand. Just kiss, yeah, you know I'm gonna have a ring here, and he's gonna go. And okay, so he, here's the thing: is they want to sue me, right? And their grounds of suing me is that I am uh, committing fraud. So essentially, what I'm doing is I am trademarking this without owning anything that has the word liberalist in it. Fail. I have the biggest and most active Discord servers with the word liberalist in it. And B, they're going on the grounds that Sargon has been using the word liberalist for a few months now. When the word liberalist, as you brought up, Medicar, has been... with was invented in the 1800s, meaning that no one could use it, only the first person who trademarks it as a corporation, as as, as a business entity. And we have t-shirts and mugs already on the fucking burner to to fucking sell, because I have to make some money back after being burned a little bit. Well, did you see some of the the previous entries under Liberalist when you when you search it up? Have you seen what pops up as results? Can we bring back a couple of other things from the 1800s? No. (laughs) Calm down. (laughs) It's being pussies. And the other one is Liberalists and the Jewish question. So, like, (laughs) could you? It's the funniest shit. It's like some weird Berenstein universe shit where they're talking about the JQ on the Liberalist platform. That's hilarious. And then we fucking just, we just fucking stole it. Not steal it, own it legally first. That's the the real words. He he did, and people are like, and then V, okay, by the way, too quick, the second, 50 bucks. He says, my donation for Liberalist Canada. Thank you all for your donations. And 1488 from Garm, 89, 1488. Hail Andy, true leader of Liberalist. That's what I also said. I think, I think everybody's kind of... I'd have gone with Heil, but I mean... You know. Maybe. I think everybody, everybody kind of gets gets the... Everybody gets the feel there. He's telling okay. Me, buying it. Can I, can I play devil's advocate with you? Can I can I be the sure. guy who's going to say what the people and what some of the people are going to say? Mm-hmm. And he said he the, what Andy said is he was he got Chris to put him in line to buy the trademark. Mm-hmm. I listened very carefully to that whole thing for him confirming it had been purchased. Uh, in that clip, it it does not confirm that. 
And also in that clip, he's also making jokes like, I'm going to write mine trap, uh, say Heil me. So oh, it, it was oh, also there, kind yeah, of coming yeah, off like it could have been some fit. jokes in there, but then he's telling everybody, well, we're buying the liberalist trademark. If it didn't happen, then why not just tell everybody it didn't happen? Well, I know it didn't happen. I mean, did he did he not make public that it it, it didn't go down? I, I don't know. I'm asking. I'm straight that's up asking real questions. No, that, that's what. I, if it didn't happen, why don't I just tell everybody that? Just, Andy, if you're listening to this stream, tell everyone it didn't happen, so we can we can call this a day. Because what I what I heard, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. What I heard was it sounded like a bit. Uh, it sounded like a bit that was gonna get serious and then didn't get serious, but it, it did sound like a bit to me. Like I, maybe I'm wrong. That's what I got out of it. I didn't take it. I didn't take it seriously. Like he, I thought at the time he was going to do it, but uh, it's, yeah. it's gonna... most people did. That's why they did it. Upon rewatching it, though, I could see if he was going to take, if he was going to say, "Dude, it was a fucking joke." We'll take money for bits all the time, dude. I can motherfucker takes money off three of my jokes constantly. I'm not. I'm not. And I'm not. Man, I ain't trying to say you're wrong. I don't know enough to call somebody fucking wrong. All right. No, uh, but that's. I, I'm that's just, but this is this is just stuff I throw out. Is if somebody wants to say, "Hey, this is oh, you're fucked up. Oh, you're all all these. You know, you want to throw memes at me? Okay, I'll throw some truth at you. Do you have an answer now, for it? And now, on to answer. your defense, motherfuckers shouldn't be claiming you're in a you're in a fucking wheelchair. And well, I don't fucking like that's, and all. that's that's not well. <clears> that's, that's fucking stupid. But what I'm saying about the whole like, you want to throw memes at people? That's fine. I'll put a little truth in it. Well, it seems like there is. I mean, the I think the responsible thing would be for for Andy to to at least address it. Yeah, if it's becoming a concern, uh, until he does, I don't. You know, we're not. I'm not going to be the authority on on what happened because I'm I'm half on it's a bit, and I'm half on it was something that was going to be done and didn't happen. But I I feel very confident saying that this wasn't like a scam. It wasn't something that was planned out where it was like, ooh, we're going to take all these money from these people and not do what. I, I, I really don't think that was the case. And you're not saying that's the case, are you? I mean, you're not saying this was a planned scam. It was just kind of a thing that didn't happen and needs to be addressed. That is I, I don't attribute uh, what people are thinking. I don't do the mind reading thing. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. I, I on, my, on my end, I don't think it was a scam. I think that at very worst, it was something that was funny and a great troll on Sargon and it just didn't happen and probably... Better optics would have been to uh, to address that. Hey, yeah, this didn't happen, and and just put an end to the joke, maybe if if it didn't happen. 